Hello you guys, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about scale and we are talking about space. So we know space is how far away or how something or how close something is to us. But for this project, we're going to talk about scale. And scale is how big or how small something is. So if you were to see a picture of a person, you would think that they're a normal sized person. But if you saw a picture of a person and there was a ginormous cupcake next to them, you would wonder in your brain, is that a tiny person or a really big cupcake? So you can really change things with scale and make things look bigger that would normally be smaller or make things that would be smaller, bigger, like that. So for this project, we're going to take inspiration from Pete the Cat and we're going to make our own kind of silly sandwiches that are really big and we're going to add a bunch of different stuff on them playing with scale. So for this project, you are going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser, and then you want something to color in with. I'm going to use crowns and maybe I'll outline in marker, and that's what I'm going to use to color in with today, but you can use what you have. So to start our sandwich, we're going to draw a plate and a table. So to draw our plate at the bottom of your paper, you want to draw a big flat oval. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a big flat oval like that. Maybe make it a little more even. So once you have your big flat oval, what you're going to do on both sides is add a straight line. So we have our plate and our table. And now we're going to start drawing our sandwich. To draw our sandwich, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a big long rectangle, but I'm going to make the corners of the rectangle a little rounded like bread would be. So I'm going to start with two lines and then I'm going to make the edges kind of round like sandwich bread. I'm going to erase this line up here because we're going to make our sandwich going up so we don't want that line there anymore because our stuff on our sandwich would be covering that part of the plate. So now what we want to do is we want to start adding whatever kind of we whatever things we want on our sandwich going up. So I think I'm going to start out my sandwich with some tomatoes. So to draw my tomatoes, I'm going to draw big flat ovals again like that to make my slices of tomato. Maybe I'll add another one right here. And then I'll add some kind of tomato sort of details in like that to make them look like sliced sort of tomatoes. Now on top of my tomatoes, I think I'm going to add ice cream. I know that sounds crazy, but these are silly sandwiches, so we can add whatever we want. So for my ice cream on my sandwich, I'm going to draw some big circles. And then at the bottom of my circle, I'm going to give it a bumpy line to kind of make it look like a scoop of ice cream. And then I think I'll add another one right here for my next scoop. And then for my last scoop, it's going to be here on the edge. I'm going to do it like this. So now we have some ice cream and I can add some little lines inside. Or I could really add sprinkles or whatever. I can make this ice cream however I want. So now I am going to decide what I want next for my silly sandwich. Because I want to make it go all the way up so the scale of it can be huge. Something that you wouldn't normally see. I think I'm going to add some hot dogs like Pete did. To make my hot dog, I'm drawing kind of that hot dog shape that almost looks like a huge oval. And maybe I'll add another one kind of behind it that kind of comes out like that. So then I have two hot dogs. I can draw some grill lines on there if I want to. Make them look like they've been on the grill. So now we have tomatoes, ice cream, and hot dogs. Icky. But we're going to add even more to this. I think I'm just going to add some lettuce. So I'm going to make a big squiggly line for my lettuce. On top of my lettuce, I think I want to add 
a can of beans, just like Pete had, because I thought that was pretty silly. So I'm going to draw a can right here. I'm going to draw a circle, and then two lines going down my circle, and then a kind of round line here on the bottom. And then maybe I'll give it a label. We'll write beans. So now we're going to keep adding to our sandwich. And I'm trying to think of what else I would want on a sandwich. I think I'm going to add like a burger patty and add a burger on my sandwich too. So I'm going to draw kind of a bumpy line, almost like I drew my lettuce, but I'm going to color this one in all brown. But I think I want to add some cheese on the burger. So I'm going to add a triangle right here to look like it kind of has some cheese on it and then a triangle over here maybe even coming off to look like it has some more cheese and i'm going to add some cheese on my burger like that look like it's dripping off the side i could even do like a drippy line to make it look like it's dripping cheese so now we want maybe we can fit in one more thing and then we'll have the top of our bread go right here at the top so for our next thing on our silly sandwich, I think I'm going to add, maybe I'm trying to think of what I even have downstairs. I think I'm just going to add some pieces of candy. And to draw my pieces of candy, I'm going to draw different like circles and squares. And then on the sides, I'm going to add on kind of that like little shape that candy can have. For the wrapper on the sides. Maybe this one I'll draw like little lines on to make it kind of like a chocolate candy. And then maybe here in the middle we'll add some like round candy that has like a swirl on the inside. And that, my friends, is our silly sandwich. I am gonna draw my top piece of bread. And again, I am drawing a long rectangle, and then I'm going to round out the corners like that. So for mine, I added tomatoes, ice cream, hot dogs, lettuce, a can of beans, a burger, and some candy. You guys can add what in, whatever you want inside your silly sandwich. You might want to add a slice of pizza. You could add different food you like, maybe a taco or nachos maybe some spaghetti in there, that is up to you. So what I'm gonna do now for my silly sandwich is I'm going to get everything outlined and then I'm gonna color it in. So that would be our next step. We drew our round circle at the bottom for our, uh, or our oval for our plate and then we drew the kind of rounded edge rectangle for our bread. And then we drew all different kinds of foods on the inside and our plate to the sides. So I'm going to outline this and then get it colored in. And then we will be done with our scaled up crazy silly sandwiches. Okay, so I have my silly sandwich using scale because we're looking at the size of things. And I have it all outline. And so now my last step is going to be coloring it in. And once I have it colored in, we will be all done. Right? So I got mine all colored in. I decided to do a purple table and I did my black my background blue. And you guys can see my silly sandwich. I'll hold it up next to me at the bottom. And there it is. I'm excited to see what you guys add to your sandwiches. Like I said, all that really matters is that we have the table and the plate and our two pieces of bread and then all of this stuff in between is up to you guys. You can do exactly what I did or you can make up your own stuff if you want to. I will see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon. I'm excited to see what you add to your sandwiches. Goodbye.